we are going to give you a very quick tour of our farm. The reason for this is in um, previous videos and in future videos, quite often we'll talk about things on the farm that might not make sense. Um, also, it's just quite nice to have a look around a farm, the layout of it. Hope you enjoy. And thank you so much for following yet another video. So I don't know if you're able to hear, but behind us is a really busy road. So it's called the A40, which is literally a main road running through Pembrokeshire. And it literally goes straight through our farm. And like I said, it's really busy, which does impact our business quite a lot in a few different ways. We've got land either side of the road, so it makes a difference with our stock. And also cart and silage back and forth can be an absolute joy on like bank holiday weekends and stuff like that. So literally that's the road and then just by there is our shed. So that's how close it is. So the shed you're looking at here is our main parlour shed. So on the side there you can see the feed bin. That's the water tank. And then this shed here is our parlour and then that's everything that comes off it. So should we go inside and have a look? Yeah! So we have landed in our tank room. So this is our milk bulk tank, it holds 8,000 litres and that's where the cow's milk goes every day. And then through here is our dairy, that's where the filter is as you would have seen in our milking video, if you haven't seen it check it out. And this is where all the milk machine gets turned on so on and so forth. Follow us into the parlour. So, <laughs> now we're in the parlour shed, so over here and then we're immediately in the parlour, which is great because this is where we come twice a day, every day. Then over here, we've got the quick access to the cows, or we've got the race, the foot bath, and the splitting off getting all immediately right next to the parlour. So that's all right there, so it's really handy. So when we put our parlour in in 2020, when we put the parlour in, we also did all this setup at the same time. So you can see the join in the roof there. Um, that shed was already there, whereas for all of this section was new in 2020. So all of this way. This gate would normally be shut, but just to show you today, this is then our collecting yard. So it looks like a big empty space. However, this is where we put our 200 cows while they wait to be milked. And then this is the parlor, the other side from the other side. So let's keep going. <laughs> so next we're going to move on to the carving pans. So these are our carving pans. So ideally they are used for carving cows. Because it's summer, we carve all our cows outside on grass. So at the minute we have actually got some baby calves living in here. But that's the carving gate, which is really, really handy for when we are carving cows. And yeah, we've got, well, you can split the big two in half, so we should have one, two, three, four, five, six carving pans all together, which is really, really handy through the winter, through the start of the spring when we start carving. If we need to put anyone in a pan, this is where they come. And when we're carving, it is full, to be fair. And so just um, to put in perspective as where we are, so the carving pans are just by here, and the race is splitting off getting all is there. And the parlour is there, so it is literally, they just walk out straight into their pans. Next stop, to the cubicles! So, this is our winter housing. So, what you can see on the right there is the feed bins. That's where we feed all the silage to our cows. And then, those big, like, ring things you can see coming out there for anyone who's not familiar with farming. They're called cubicles and they're the beds on which the cows lie when they go to sleep or when they like lay down to rest. So they've got little mattresses, so they're nice and soft and that, this is where they live in the winter. So they go all the way over to the end of the shed there. And again, it's right next to the parlour shed, so that's our parlour just by there. And so they just walk out in the winter straight to bed, but obviously they're out Literally in the summer. out here, they can eat, sleep, chill, do whatever they want. So if you walk around this corner, we come to our silage clamp. So we'll take you there now. So here we are on the inside clamp. Um, so we have had to start at this year already because we had a really, really dry spell in May, June. 
So we have eaten into a bit now, which just means that we can store some machines here. Um, so we'll use this silage first, and then once it's used up, we can use this space then for um, storing cattle, like steers and stuff on a straw bed then. And then if we come out here, so that's our first cut silage. Did I not say that? Probably will cut that off if you have. Should I do a jump? Did, I, did you catch my jump? Uh, I don't know. Oh, so then if you come out here, oh, maybe I'll flick my fingers this time. But oh, I've been recording the whole time. Okay. Then if you come out here. Nice. Then you have our outdoor clamp. So the bay, the bay, the first bay over the far end is mainly first cut with a tiny bit of second cut on top. And then this, this uh, second bay is our second cut then. So hopefully now, well definitely, we'll get a third cut in here. And it'll be good to go for the winter. So this is our outdoor clamp. And then if we keep spinning around. You can see um, that's the shed then. So when the cows come in for milk and they go in through there. And that takes on to the collection yard. So just to get to terms with where we are. You walk through there, you go onto the collection yard that we saw earlier, and if you walk around the back of the shed, you'd end up back at the start. In that paddock there is our hospital pen, so if the cow's having a baby, um, if she's gone a little bit lame, basically if we don't want them to walk too far, they'll go into that pen there. It's mainly full of um, heavy cows at the minute because we're carving. Um, yeah, so we've got a hospital pen there and another one over there in case that runs out of grass. Moving on! We are now on our cow tracks. So behind me, this is what we call the T junction. So there's three options here of where the cows can go. They can, if they're walking this way, they can turn right or turn left or like come this way, turn down there. So this way is the night paddocks. So they always go this way at night and graze all the fields that you can see and then all the ones further as well. And yeah. This is the hospital pan I was talking about, right by here. And then this way. Bells. Got some lots of bells. Here's our race. Our outdoor race. Testing. TV testing. So yeah, this is the race we use to do our TV testing. So just very quickly, it's really good because it's got a double yo, which means you can catch like the bottom of the neck and then closer to their heads, they literally can't move. And obviously you can fill the race then, so it's really easy and quick to do. So we say TV testing because we're doing it once every three months at the minute, but um, we also win the heifers in here, um, the cars, it's basically the outdoor race and it's really handy because like Poppy said, you could put about 10 animals in the race. Right, now we're walking on to our calf yard. Calf, calf, calf yard. <sighs> That's really taken out of me. I think you're going to have to talk. <laughs> so here we are at our calf yard. So these calves were born right at the end of our spring calving. So they're about three months old, so they're a little bit small to go out. Um, so they're just being filled up on hay and things like that. So they're looking really good. Then over here, meow, we store our babies. Babies. So we store six calves in one pan, which works really well for our system. And um, then we've got calving boxes up there as well. So this yard, just so we know where we're at, that shed there, so we've got a slurry pit by here. Run! Here is our slurry pit. The shed that you can see is actually our cubicles. That's that's where we've just come from. So we have quite literally done a full loop. circle. And then just out of interest, up here is where our old parlour was. So you can see like two doors that have been blocked in. That is exactly what's happened. It's two doors that have been blocked in. Um, so that was the entrance for our parlour, so they'd walk in through their doors into the parlour. On what we call the old lane, so this is the old lane. I didn't know we were moving on! And this is the new lane. 
So literally like this lane is just newer than that lane, therefore it's the old lane and the new lane. This is where visitors drive down to the park. And then this is where the cows will walk up to milk and maybe drive the machine, so on and so forth. So these two sheds here are storage sheds. And we call them the twin sheds because they're literally right next to each other and they're just quite similar. So this is the lane then that the cows walk on to go to their day paddock. So as you saw earlier, you saw the night paddock. This is why they come down here on the day because there's obviously a lot more going on. There's a lot of gates to close. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot safer and they can also go down for the day and just stay down there. So this shed can be used for cattle of any age, but we tend to put them in at about six months old, around that kind of age and they just feed on hay at the front and then lie on straw at the back and it's just really, really handy for extra space. both don't really shy because we've come down to the farm park and we feel like we're being watched <laughs> but we're now down at the farm park yeah so this is the entrance to our adventure park which is a diversification off of the farm so in a future video we'll go more into that and show you around the farm park yeah so we've just come down the house and there's more um fields for the cows down here and um, the house is also down here as well so it's about a 400 meter lane i think so yeah and then all of this is away from the farm so it's nice to keep it completely separate um but obviously still together yeah so it yeah, works it really well. well but yeah i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time thank Bye. you